Good. How are you doing? Doing well. Doing well. What's the thought on this team heading into this? Arkansas. Week? Yeah, Arkansas is good. They're good. They got a great quarterback, um, a strong backfield. You know, multiple running backs that are that are dangerous. And so, for us, it's uh, we're all hands on deck um, this week on D, just stopping the run and and getting out of business. So uh, I'm excited. It's going to be a challenge for us, but I think their guys are up up for it. KJ Jefferson, obviously, yeah. heck, heck of a player, and a lot of that's going to be heck on you and your boys to to try and corral him, contain him. What's the key as you guys prepare to? Yeah, it's 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 kind of like option football. I mean, these guys do a lot of um, just like different stuff, different moving pieces in the backfield. So he's a big boy; he's two thirty, and so for us, like we got to account for him. He's he's not just a thrower; he's a threat in the run game. So for us, it's like hey, we got a guy, we got to get a guy on the back, a guy on the quarterback. Uh, guy on the tight end, so it's it's a lot of guys doing their assignments this week, and uh, if we do that, we'll be fine. Coach, he was telling us he's a little bit like kind of every quarterback that you guys have faced so far with the running and the throwing and yeah. a little bit of everything. Do you see kind of a Frankenstein's monster with what you've seen yeah. uh, to this point in the year? Right? Yeah, and that's I feel like football is kind of that way now, right? You want to be dual threat. You want to be doing multiple things. It just makes you more versatile, and it makes you a better football player. So for us, it's like um, nothing changes a bunch for us. Obviously, we've got a new install, new defense, but uh, at the end of the day, it just comes down to tackling, comes down to having heart, and it's a game of inches. You know, we learned that last Saturday. You you lose a few phases, a few series here and there, it can change the whole game. So we got to be dialed, firing on all cylinders this weekend. If we do that, we'll be fine. Talon Offrey's kind of taken the same path as you with the injury. He's yeah. kind of slow to start. What have you seen from him and how he's played? Yeah, Talon's my guy. That's uh, that's my roommate every weekend for games. I'm so I'm so happy for him. He's been playing extremely well. Physical cat. So he's back there making plays. And, uh, you know, when he's in the game, I trust him. And he works hard. So that's a guy that, you know, he take care he takes care of his business and uh i respect that a bunch i'm happy for him because i know you know i remember him this past off season going through it right with his achilles so seeing you know everyone loves a good story and for him to come back and after such a such a tough injury um for me that's inspiring uh, and so i'm happy for him every opportunity he gets he's earned and so you know the sky's the limit for that guy I'm just curious, how do they assign roommates? Yeah. Do you guys pick them, or is it random? They, yeah, no, you don't pick them. They just you just get assigned. So me and Talon weren't weren't super close this off season, but uh, you know, since South Florida, we've been kicking it every weekend. So that's my guy now. Plays tear up Vegas. Te- tore it up. <laughs> tore it up. What's he like as a pregame roommate? Is he is he the guy that you got to beat him to sleep because he snores a little? Or? <laughs> I beat him to sleep every week. So, it's, I, but that's just me. I love getting to bed so early. Yeah, I don't know. That, I'm sure I, you ask him, might be a different story. You know what I'm saying? But uh, no, Talon's a guy that yeah, he takes care of his p's and q's, and uh, you know he's all about business. Always watching film. Always trying to perfect his craft. So, a lot of respect for him. Coach Ingo was talking about how. Um, the evolution of, of when he decides to dial up blitzes versus coverage blitzes, you know, yeah. dropping guys. Do you feel like as a player you get a pretty good idea when those calls are going to come and the type of situation, circumstances where you guys might be dialing up the, 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 the backfield blitzes, I guess? Yeah, great question. Um, for me, I, we do have a little bit. I mean, I have a little bit of a feel just because I know, like, depending on the down and distance, right, third and long, you know, that's going to be a different call than first and ten, right? So it all depends. We got calls for third and medium third and short you know we're bringing the house so it's pretty um it's different for every game and it really depends on what you see during the week on film so if we see you know they like to leak a back out on on a third and short we're gonna we're gonna count for that a lot of it's high risk high reward and that's as as far as bringing those blitzes when you get home versus when they make a big play what's that like those moments because you don't dial up a ton of you know you're not blitzing every Mm -hmm. time so what are those moments like that's, and that's the part of football. I mean, you, you take a risk, and you're either going to come out big or, or you're going to lose big. So, um, you know, for example, this past week, Notre Dame had some great plays, and so that's just going to happen, right? And uh, that's just how football is. And so if we can control the early downs, control first down, second down, put them in tough third down situations, you know, that helps us out, right? Just easy football. You know, if we, if we can do that, it's a lot easier said than done. But, yeah, high risk, high reward. You know, it's, it, co- it comes down to they're going to dial a blitz, but you got to beat a man. So that's, that's how that goes. Uh, ben, after you know you, you know the drill with independence. After a couple losses, the questions of yeah. what becomes motivation. How do you guys stay focused to make sure that a couple of these losses don't derail the season? Yeah, it's tough because you know I'm I'm just like the next guy, right? It, it, it breaks my heart every every loss that we have. It's you, you want to go to New Year's Six, you want to run the table and go undefeated, but these losses they're tough. They're they're hard to swallow, and so for us it's 
um, you know, as a competitor, week to week, you're going to go out there and play your heart out, right? It's you're playing for your family, you're paying, playing for your brothers, your friends, your teammates, and so it's not it's not a thing of uh, we got to get to this bowl game, that bowl game, and say hey, every week we're you know we take a week to week. You want to go out there, put your best foot forward. You want to go win every single game, and sometimes you come up short, and uh, it's just you know getting back to the chalkboard and and making those adjustments for the next week. So, um, as far as staying dialed. Uh, it's it's not nothing changes for us you know you if you really believe in what you're doing as a program you're not going to just jump ship after a loss right you're going to stick to your your values your your morals and so for us staying dialed is uh something that we're planning on doing is there anything to the recent uh, day game struggles for you guys another day game kickoff mm -hmm. anything to that in recent recent games yeah as, as you guys know i mean we play a lot of late night saturday games um but uh, for example, this week, right, we're playing at 1.30, correct? Um, and so we changed this week, we changed our lifts. We're, we're lifting at 7.45 in the morning just so we can get up, get going, get the juices flowing. And so by Saturday, we'll be locked and loaded. That's already something we've been doing all week. So there's definitely there's a lot of stuff, a lot of cerebral things that happen behind the scenes um, that we're not a part of, but we just it just gets implemented. So for us, 1.30, we just got to come ready to go. That's as simple as that. You got to start dialing it up at 7.45 in the morning, not – you know, 4.45 in the afternoon. Were those early morning lifts a thing for some of the earlier kicks that you guys had? They were not. Season? They were not. Yeah, we just we just started that. Peyton was kind of talking about how much you rotated linebackers this yeah. year, um, probably a little bit more than last year. Does uh -huh. that, what does that change for you personally throughout a game? Got to make your reps count. Absolutely. It's, uh, you know, everybody wants to play every snap, right? Let's let's be honest. That's how that's how the game is. You put your heart and soul into this. It's college football. But uh, it's it's the team. team. The team comes first. You know, you got to put your ego to the side. You got to put your pride to the side and uh, just buy into what the coaches want. And so we've stayed healthy. That's the biggest thing. And uh, that was their goal going into it. And so um, we're just going to keep doing this until the end of the season.